Some people view the current situation with the Middle East as a clash of civilization. The Islamists hate everything other than what they are themselves. They want to defeat Christianity. They want to defeat Judaism. Kill all the Jews, crush the democracies, destroy Western civilization. They are using our laws against us. They are using our democracy against us. I would estimate that some 10 to 15 percent of Muslims worldwide support militant Islam. Are anti-American or anti-Zionist? No, that's much larger. 1.2 billion Muslims out there with 15 percent. This is as big as the United States of America. Andy Green thinks Barack Obama's a terrorist. I do. He's, he's got the bloodlines. What does that mean? Uh, just think about it. Look at the name. The so you, you do think he's a terrorist? I didn't say that, but... Uh, I think he is. I think he's a one-man terrorist cell. A lot of people in the West asked, why do they hate us? And some of them even started blaming themselves. Is it our foreign policy? And it is distracting the population from the real source of the problem. On 9-11, there was a general response in the Muslim world of delight. If you want to get people to fight, you have to make them think that there's a threat and then they're in danger. I'm calling for John McCain and the RNC because you need to know that Barack Obama has worked closely with domestic terrorist Bill Ayers, whose organization bombed the U.S. Capitol.